Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for June. This is for June 2020. Keep in mind, this reading is for June. It is for June 2020, and I am repeating myself because I get a lot of people that say, oh, this is old energy. Well, if that's what you want to believe, then, you know, how many times have you repeated your same mistakes because, you know, you just don't learn from them? My intent is to do a preview of what's to come. This is not old energy. This is a new energy coming in for June. You may have experienced it already. And if you have, you obviously didn't learn your lesson before. And maybe you're going to learn it this time. If you think that you have already experienced this, what you resist persists. So what do we have for Libra for the month of June 2020? What do we have for Libra for the month of June 2020? Knowing that this is to come, not in the past. Oh boy. It's really important that I say the words that I say because a lot of people say, oh, no, 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 that already happened. Might be happening again. Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. Now, a partner doesn't have to be a lover. Okay, it doesn't have to be. It does not have to be. There's going to be some sort of separation. It's going to be a heartfelt separation. Okay, it's going to be heartfelt. Um, it could be with a family member. It could be with anybody. But when you get the card separation, there's going to be a separation in June. And I'm talking about June 2020. Whoever this separation is with, you're going to feel it in your heart. So what do we have? What do we have for Libra? A few cards, please, for Libra. For June 2020. There they are. Diamond. You'll be receiving, receiving or giving a precious gift. Forest. Muddled. Unclear thinking. Target. A goal-oriented person. So somebody is going to be hitting a target. Bullseye. Bullseye. Smack dab in the middle. But somebody's not seeing clearly. They're not. When you get a forest, something's unclear. You're not seeing a situation clearly. Somebody is going to be receiving a gift or giving a gift. Okay? It doesn't have to be a diamond. Whatever. This is just a symbolization of a gift. So there's going to be a gift. And you could be giving it or receiving it. There's a lack of clarity. Something is confusing, but um, somebody has their mind set. They have their mind set on hitting a target, and they're going to hit that target. Okay? They're going to hit the bullseye. So the bullseye is going to be hit. It's like right to the heart of the matter. Hmm funny because we, we got covering heart here and then I just said the heart to the matter. Something to do with the heart. What do we have? What do we have for Libra for June? Justice! Well, there we go. That's your card, huh? This is bringing balance, being balanced. Something is turning out as it should. All is, if there has been some sort of legal situation, this is turning out as it should. But this is also a card of consequences. And it is the laws of karma. So somebody may be seeing some consequences. They may be dealing with some karma. You know, uh, there's no toleration for lies. There's a fair and just decision that is going to be made. 
There could be some upcoming legalities. You need to be honest and upfront. Whatever is happening, it's gonna. There's balance that is coming into your life, because I mean it is. It's coming into your life, but this does have something to do with karma. It does, and it's funny because it's right underneath the separation card. So whatever this separation is, it's it's it has to do with karma. It's like a, a karmic separation. Ooh, you are totally here. You are totally, totally, totally here. Now something to do. It could have something to do with a mother. Or this could be you, okay? This could be you. The Empress is a very beautiful, abundant, wealthy, um, domesticated individual. This is the goddess of love. It could certainly be you giving birth to a new life, um, going through some sort of painful situation because the Empress gives birth, and to give birth, it's painful. So this is this is making a decision because this is a decision to bring balance. So there's a decision that is being made and it has to do with a mother or or if this is you, it could be you. It has to do with a mother's rights or a mother or something like that because this is rights. It is legalities. So there could be some legalities with a mother. Um, interesting. Oh, this is the birth. This is a birth of something. A birth of a new life. Ooh. The end, the end of stagnation, right? There's been, there's been some sort of delay. Now this is, there's somebody who's been perhaps holding on to a dead end, but it's time, it's time to get up. It's time to live. Let go of the pain, releasing the pain. And it is releasing pain. So somebody is releasing pain. Something has ended. Something has died, okay? Something has died and it's time to forgive. It's time to release. It's time to start over, give birth. This is giving birth to a new life. It really is. This is nurturing. Some of you may be... Um, be, 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 be becoming very wealthy, very abundant. This is getting some sort of justice. Something is going to go in your favor, by the way. Ooh, somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Now, this is a, this is a lack of clarity, which makes sense. Seeing a situation unclearly. But all is fair. All is fair. So I think there's a decision that has been made or is being made and it's fair. You may not see it as being fair. Ooh, there's going to be some sort of uh, upheaval, some sort of chaos. Something is happening. I think it happens before June. I think there's a shocking situation that happens, an event. There's an event that happens before June. It happens. It's a shock. It's a surprise. It happens all of a sudden. Something happens. Somebody falls. Somebody crashes. Something crumbles. This happens before June. You may be unclear. You may be saying, why is this happening? Why did it happen? It happened for a reason. It happened because you needed to start your new life. Because this is a new life. The Empress gives birth to a new life. This is a mother. So it may have something to do with a mother. Um... This is the death of an idea or a person. So I'm not sure what is going on. The Four of Swords reverse is exhausted. There's health issues. Slow down. There's frustration. So somebody is, is frustrated. Frustrated with their experience. Okay. The Empress gains experience through suffering, through pain. There's definitely a lack of clarity. It's, there's a lack of clarity. This is not um, seeing something clearly. Why this crumbled. Why it didn't work out. 
not seeing that something was false, not seeing that somebody was lying. Somebody wasn't seeing. This is a karmic contract of some sort, false sense of security, false foundation. So you, somebody may have been holding on to a false contract or a false sense of security that wasn't truthful, it wasn't honest, but now, and see the mask was on, so somebody was, was, um, unclear, just not seeing, thinking, thinking that this person brought them balance, but it was false, it wasn't true, it wasn't true. So I think there's been some sort of a sort of event that maybe it was a legal situation that changed everything. Two of Wands reversed. So definitely unclear. Two of Wands reversed. This is unclear, being at that crossroads, undecided, fear of change, fear of the unknown, choosing the safest option. There's some sort of disappointment here. It's like there's an anti-climax, and I saw that here. It's like something didn't happen that you thought was going to happen. There's been some sort of delay, um, but something, it's like... Uh, Something suddenly happened that changes everything. That's what I see. It's like you didn't even get a chance to prepare for it. You know? You didn't get to you didn't get to prepare for this. This was unpredictable. It feels like something has happened. Uh it was very unpredictable and you're adapting. You're adapting to this change. It may, may have been feeling empty or dead inside, but it's over. It's time to live again. It's time for your new life. The Empress gives birth to a new life. She's very nurturing. She's very kind. She's very loving. So that we do have um, a very loving individual here that is moving you in a new direction. You may be moving. Somebody is moving. They're mastering their emotions. They're getting in the driver's seat. They're going someplace. They're traveling, um, taking the high road, taking the reins, facing some opposition. Uh, headed in a new direction suddenly 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 headed in a new direction somebody may be suddenly moving because this is like this this is like this could be a home and this is moving so somebody is moving and that could happen very suddenly somebody has just decided that it's time it's time for a new life it's time for a new life something like that the decision has been made now this could even be a court ruling with that justice card Somebody could be moving, could be dealing with a Cancer, could be dealing with a Libra, another Libra, or a Taurus, or a Scorpio. Um, there's been a situation that there was a lot of pain. There was a lot of pain. It was very hurtful. Um, there was an, a feeling empty inside, feeling lost, feeling like stuck, feeling stagnant, feeling like, why? Why has this happened? Why has this happened? But now... But now it's re it's ready, ready, determined to move on, determined to be successful, mastering your emotions, taking the lead, headed in the right direction. So there's like a change. It's deciding. There is. There's like a change here. Now we get the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Now letting this is unstable and this is unstable. So somebody was in an unstable situation where they weren't being valued they didn't know their value there was a lack of success because uh, there was a lack of respect somebody was lazy um, lying not telling the truth um, a queen of pentacles reversed so you could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who is very stubborn, very self-centered. It doesn't have to be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Whoever this person is, this person isn't stable. They are insecure. And they put out false pretenses because this is false pretenses. You know, they're false. They don't, and liar. So there's definitely a liar here. Somebody is dealing with a liar. Um, this person isn't stable at all. Doesn't have any money. Um, lies a lot. Very false. Very, very false. So we have a, we have a very false person here who lies a lot. This person um, is very insecure, very stubborn, very self-centered, whoever this person is. So this person is not very grounded, not realistic, um, lies a lot. Somebody's dealing with a, this is a liar, 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 liar. This person just isn't, doesn't have anything of value to add, selfish. 
I'm just dealing with a selfish individual. Opening up. I think there's going to be a change in the residence. There is. I think that somebody is moving. They're moving to a better place. Or they did move to a better place. They did. Because this was kind of like in the past. Somebody has moved to a better place. Or they're going to be moving in the, in, to a better place. Things are starting to get better. Things are starting to open up. Starting to share. Starting to give. Starting to um, rebuild perhaps. I think we we had somebody here that was, was obsessed with holding on to something that wasn't meant for them. They were obsessed. Okay, they were obsessed, but now they're letting go. They are. They're letting go of this obsession, and they're moving in a new direction. So you may be moving, or somebody is moving. Somebody is moving someplace else. They're letting go of the obsession. They're letting go of the falseness. They're letting go of the false sense of security, the false foundation. It's like they realize. It's like they take the mask off, and they realize that whoever they were dealing with wasn't being real with them. This is like an awakening of some sort. That's what I feel like it is. Now, this is a transformation. It is. The chariot is a card of transformation. It's moving in a new direction. It, it is moving, facing opposition, turning your back on the lies, turning your back, starting to see. You weren't seeing something clearly, but I think that you are now. You're ready for this new life. I feel like you're done. You're done moping. You're done waiting. You're done um, crying over this. Whatever it is, it's like this, this is over. Yes, you are are ready okay the knight of cups you're moving in a new direction and there could be somebody that is taking really good care of you that is coming in because this is this is like um somebody the knight of cups so that is emotional support this is somebody who is emotionally available somebody that is fulfilling you or you emotionally okay this is somebody looking for a relationship or wanting to love you or wanting to support you could be a mother uh doesn't have to be because i just keep on looking up here at this mother um could be a woman could be a woman this is a woman doesn't have to be could be a masculine as well um we have we have cancer we have pisces we have scorpio as well so anyway this is this is an offer coming in this is somebody that is very uh, gentle very kind very loving so there's somebody coming in that is very very loving they're going to help you to heal. They're going to help you to heal from whatever this situation was that was not stable. It was insecure. It was false. It was destructive. And it crashed. And so this person is like helping. They're going to help you to heal. They're going to see your beauty. They're going to see your grace. They're going to see your value. So there is definitely somebody coming in, Libra, that is going to value you very, very, very much. This person is very much a lover. Big, 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 big lover. Huge. This person is loves with all their heart. And this could be you. This could be you. Because the Empress is the goddess of love. Okay? But she's she's moving. She is definitely moving in a new direction. And she's moving into some sort of, you know, it looks like a relationship. I mean, the Knight of Cups could be related. And it happens suddenly. The Two of Wands reverse is something that happens suddenly. You don't even see it coming. So this is like suddenly. And you never know when the Empress, the Empress gives birth whenever it's time. You don't get to choose, usually, it, when it's time. It's like it's time. It's time to let go of this stagnant, dead-end situation that you have uh, been holding on to. Now that you're getting what you deserve, somebody that is going to bring balance to your life, this is the justice that you deserve. So I think that you have been in a situation that was unstable and now you are moving into something more beautiful, really, a lot more beautiful. Um, you're going to be receiving a gift from somebody, um, somebody that um, probably wants to take you somewhere they may want to take you take you out you know take you for a ride they want to take you somewhere maybe they want to go someplace or you want to go or you're giving it you're either giving it or you know you may be giving this person a gift you may be going someplace traveling with this person because this is traveling going someplace um and developing a relationship some sort of relationship and i think it's a sudden thing it happens suddenly um now, this is making a decision, but there's been a level of, of unclear thinking. I think that you are separating. 
from this false person, this false sense of security that you were probably holding on to, you're letting it go. And I think there's somebody new here. So I feel like you're moving. You're moving in a new direction. You're moving towards somebody that, or somebody is moving towards you. This can go vice versa. Somebody, it's like we have two people coming together. These people are opposites. They are opposites, but they work together very well. They they have a lot of, of, I feel like it's shared values. They have a lot in common. They have a lot in common, even though they're very different. So I do, I feel like we have two people that are going to be going someplace together that are, uh, it's very sudden too. I think it's a sudden decision. It's a, it's a sudden action. Um, this is an opportunity for love. It absolutely is an opportunity for love, um, and to help you heal, to help you heal from this uh, situation that you were probably holding on to. Maybe it was stubborn. It was obsession. There was some sort of obsession here with a false sense of security. But it's making the decision to bring balance back and go after what you deserve and getting what you deserve. So I feel like you're mastering your emotions and you're going someplace um, that you may have been unsure about. It's like you probably were thinking, I'm not sure if I want to do this or not because I'm still kind of hung up on my past or I'm still kind of hung up on whoever I separated from in the past, you know, but now you're ready. I think you're ready. You're ready for this delivery, right? You're ready for the, to move forward. You're ready for a relationship. You're ready to heal. And I think it's just like a, a sudden change. And you got somebody here that's coming in that is going to be offering you that tender, loving care. Good luck.